Steve, let's go to Eva Pilgrim in Pennsylvania, where the president-elect's numbers continue to climb as well. That's right. Right now, we know that Biden is up by um, more than 34,000 votes, and that is actually the magic threshold that we have been waiting for and watching for. Uh, he needed to be up by about 34,000 votes in order to avoid that half point threshold that would require a recount, and he is above that margin at this point. We've been hearing celebrations all over Philadelphia as this announcement was coming through. People have been driving by, blasting party in the USA and Handel's Messiah. Um, hallelujah blaring from their cars and there are a bunch of people that are now gathering on Independence Mall in front of Independence Hall which is just down the street from me there's a giant sign that says good things happen in Philadelphia they are celebrating and this celebration looks something like the way Philly celebrates when their sports teams <laughs> do well they're dancing in the streets uh, everyone's high-fiving and cheering each other uh, just enjoying this moment and and I want to touch on something that I've heard a lot of people reference the, these allegations of voter fraud and, and misconduct. I spoke with a Republican Bucks County commissioner earlier today and I asked him, I said, have you seen anything that makes you think that there was some sort of voter fraud? And he said, I want to read the quote. Absolutely no bad things happening. No funny business, no fraud. We were meticulous as far as security. He also told me that he saw more excitement about this election than he has seen in his entire lifetime. And I think a lot of that excitement is coming from suburbs like Bucks County and specifically with suburban women. I spoke with a lot of moms, George, and they all were really engaged. They were all talking on their mom text chats about this political cycle, about this election. And so many of them told me they just didn't like Donald Trump. They had to watch those press conferences repeatedly every day about COVID and seeing him every day, they just couldn't keep watching and they wanted something different. You heard Steve Osinsami say people wanted something just a little bit more boring, something more predictable, something that they felt more comfortable with when it came to politics and they felt comfortable about Joe Biden. And in this moment, I can't help but think, you know, I spent a lot of time on the campaign trail with Joe Biden and there's not one stop that I ever made with him where he didn't mention the state of Pennsylvania and the way he was raised here. He talked so much about the values that he he earned and learned in this state. The, talking about his grandfather, the no malarkey bus tour was a reference to a phrase that his grandfather used to say. You have to think this has to be pretty special for him, that Pennsylvania was the state that put him over that 270 threshold, George. Poetic justice for Joe Biden right there. Thank you, Eva Pilgrim. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.